To truly understand the peopling of the Americas, we must journey back thousands of years to a time when the world looked vastly different from today. Imagine a planet locked in the grip of the Ice Age, with enormous glaciers stretching across much of the northern hemisphere. Sea levels were far lower, and vast tracts of land that are now submerged beneath the ocean were exposed, connecting continents that are now separated by water. It was during this epoch, known as the Last Glacial Maximum, that the first humans began their epic migration into the Americas, a migration that would shape the destiny of entire continents and their future civilizations. Around 20,000 to 15,000 years ago, the conditions were just right for a remarkable journey. The frigid climate had caused so much of the world's water to be locked up in ice that the oceans receded, revealing a land bridge between Siberia and Alaska. This bridge, known as Beringia, was a vast expanse of tundra and grassland stretching hundreds of miles wide, providing a corridor for plants, animals, and, crucially, humans to cross from Asia into the Americas. Archaeological and genetic evidence points to this route as the primary gateway for the first peoples to enter the New World. Genetic studies have traced the ancestry of indigenous peoples of the Americas back to ancient populations in Siberia and East Asia. These genetic links are unmistakable, suggesting a deep and ancient connection between the peoples on either side of the Pacific. Archaeologists have uncovered sites like the Bluefish Caves in the Yukon, which may have been occupied by humans as early as 24,000 years ago. These findings support the idea that people were living in or near Beringia for thousands of years, perhaps isolated by massive glaciers to the east and south, before eventually moving deeper into the continent. Yet the story of the first Americans is not simply one of a single migration along a single path. As our scientific understanding has grown, so too has our appreciation for the complexity of this ancient journey. While the Bering Land Bridge provided an initial route, new discoveries have highlighted the possibility of another equally important path, the Pacific Coastal Route, sometimes called the Kelp Highway Hypothesis. This theory proposes that, as early as 16,000 years ago, adventurous groups of humans followed the coastline from Northeast Asia, moving southward along what is now the Pacific coast of North America. They may have traveled by boat or on foot, relying on the rich marine resources of the kelp forests, fish, shellfish, seaweed, and other ocean bounty, to sustain their journey. This coastal highway would have allowed for relatively rapid movement, potentially explaining how people could have reached the southern tip of South America in a relatively short period of time after first entering the continent. The evidence for the coastal route is compelling. One of the most important archaeological sites is Monte Verde in Chile, dated to approximately 14, 1500 years ago. This site is thousands of miles south of Beringia, and its early date suggests that the first Americans spread quickly across the continent, likely following the bountiful coastline. Other early sites along the Pacific Northwest, California, and even as far south as Peru, indicate that coastal migration was not only possible, but perhaps preferable for groups adept at exploiting the ocean's resources. Unfortunately, much of the prehistoric coastline has been submerged by rising sea levels since the end of the Ice Age, hiding potential evidence beneath the waves. Despite this, researchers have found tantalizing clues, stone tools, ancient campsites, and even preserved footprints that support the presence of early humans along the Pacific coast. The migration story does not end with these initial routes. As the Ice Age waned and glaciers began to retreat, new corridors opened up across the continent. One such path was the Ice-Free Corridor, a narrow passage between the massive Laurentide and Cordilleran ice sheets that once covered much of North America. Around 13,000 years ago, as the ice retreated, this corridor became navigable, allowing people to move south from Alaska into the interior of the continent. This opening coincides with the appearance of the Clovis culture, known for its distinctive stone tools. For much of the 20th century, archaeologists believed the Clovis people represented the first Americans, arriving via the ice-free corridor. However, the discovery of older sites like Monte Verde and the Bluefish Caves has challenged this view, suggesting a more complex and layered history of migration.
Today, most scientists agree that the peopling of the Americas was not the result of a single migration event, but rather a series of movements along multiple routes over thousands of years. The current consensus, based on a combination of archaeological, genetic, and linguistic evidence, is that both the Bering Land Bridge and the Pacific Coastal Route played crucial roles. Some groups may have entered through Beringia and lingered there for generations, while others moved swiftly along the coast, establishing settlements and adapting to new environments as they went. Genetic research continues to shed light on the origins and movements of these early peoples. The genetic diversity found among indigenous populations throughout the Americas points to a long and complex migration history, possibly involving multiple waves of settlement. Ancient DNA studies have revealed traces of admixture between different groups, indicating that the peopling of the Americas was a dynamic and ongoing process, but rather than a single, isolated event. Linguistic studies further underscore this complexity. The vast array of native languages spoken across the Americas, hundreds in North America alone, suggests a deep and ancient history with many different groups moving, splitting, and adapting over millennia. These languages preserve echoes of migrations, contacts, and separations that have shaped the cultural landscape of the Americas. As we piece together this extraordinary story, it is important to recognize that the first Americans were not passive wanderers, but skilled explorers, innovators, and survivors. They mastered new environments, from the frozen tundra of Beringia to the lush rainforests of the Amazon and the arid deserts of the American Southwest. They developed sophisticated tools, built shelters, and established vibrant communities, laying the foundations for the rich tapestry of cultures that would flourish across the continent. The legacy of these ancient migrations endures in the traditions, languages, and genetic heritage of indigenous peoples today. Their ancestors undertook one of the greatest journeys in human history, overcoming formidable challenges to reach and thrive in a new world. The story of their migration is a testament to the resilience, ingenuity, and adaptability of the human spirit. In summary, the migration of humans into the Americas was a complex, multi-stage process that unfolded over thousands of years. The Bering Land Bridge provided a crucial initial entry point, but the Pacific Coastal Route enabled a rapid and widespread settlement of the continents. Subsequent movements along inland corridors and other routes enriched the diversity of the peoples and cultures that would come to define the Americas. As new discoveries continue to emerge, our understanding of this remarkable chapter in human history will only deepen, revealing new insights into the origins and journeys of the first Americans. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and keeps you updated with our latest content. Thanks for your support. Please tune in for our coming videos on knowledge-based contents.